interesting to that kind of come on my timeline because of course I'm into DJing and going out and you know being a bit of an absolute nuisance on the dance floor waving my hands around you know and sometimes you know DJing behind the ones and the twos and all that malarkey okay. so this young lady called um Chippy Nonstop um was on uh, this station called Horror and I'm now seeing via my phone that she's on Mix Mag the other day and she was playing of course right so you know you see her playing and you see her visual and the first thing that comes to mind is you know chippy non-stop more like you know chesty non-stop or something right you want to make those kind of jokes in it right you know because those those things just keep going and going and going and going and obviously the music you know fairly decent you know whatever she's a fairly competent dj she clearly knows what she's doing blah 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 well done congratulations you know use your thing do your thing and make sure that you're successful in every way you can be successful but then i guess she decided to um somehow curry the wrath of everybody online especially when it comes to uh techno twitter why did i like this when it comes to um techno twitter for the most part right everyone kind of got um their panties in a twist because of this tweet she put up the other day which i thought was fucking hilarious i'm not gonna lie um the tweet itself says the following come on why is my computer loading so slow for fuck's sake oh she deleted it no she deleted it oh mate don't tell me she deleted the tweet are you lying don't tell me she deleted it. that's super funny you deleted the tweet really live as i'm doing this thing oh you idiot she deleted it oh she deleted it just what i was about to say oh no she did she didn't she didn't she didn't she didn't she didn't she didn't she did, 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 did. what she say here okay guess my tweet about techno says people love trust me i know i got the latest tweet because i'm flying now i was on drugs in berlin okay cool whatever so there she didn't delete it thank god i thought she deleted it okay cool so this is the one this tweet basically got everyone really pissed off right about yeah so there it is it got deleted so she did delete it let me screenshot it so i can have it for my records for later um bumbarated man why do you delete the thing for man be about your beef i hate people delete tweets it's so annoying if you're gonna say what you're gonna say say it and even if you delete it we've seen it anyway you still said the thing why does it matter to delete it anyway she said the following um the way people intellectualize techno is as if we weren't all crackheads <laughs> we aren't all crackheads dancing to doof 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 sounds lol right so obviously people got their their, their panties in a twist about this because i guess she was saying this while she was in berlin and um if you know anything about berlin and you know anything about um you know Euro europe in general when it comes to electronic music or dance music in general people take their going out music very very seriously in a place like berlin specifically one one could be within their rights to say you know techno to them is like pop music right they, they listen to that stuff religiously in the gym on the way to church in church quote unquote at funerals whatever right they listen to techno they absolutely love that shit and of course in certain circles you will probably end up in places where people will talk about techno with a very um serious tone a very serious nature right they'll go about it and they'll kind of intellectualize it in a way that you've probably never seen it being intellectualized in your entire life and you'll be thinking what the hell is this kind of conversation i've been there trust me i've been to plenty after hours when i was skipping around town in berlin somewhere you end up at someone's flipping house party somewhere and they're flipping you know dissecting an album cover going over some snare talking about this producer that producer like mad mad shit people talk about in these after hours and it just makes your head go and explode but i definitely understand as well the need to sometimes troll for the attention right just to kind of get people people's um blood boiling so that you can kind of pivot that eye back to your art and the kind of honest and real thing about the situation is that unfortunately the music industry as a setup at the moment for a young lady like this right to actually garner attention and get somewhere especially when it comes to djing because there's just so many djs out there trust me i know having trying to break through myself it's you know it's very difficult because everybody and their mum knows how to dj so one of the maybe easiest forms of um artistry especially when it comes to music to actually do right it definitely definitely is so for sure everyone can do it and for the most part if you've been out to a fairly few decent amount of parties there definitely comes a time where you go to a party that's not the best and you hear somebody playing who you know for sure is getting paid a whole lot of money and you're like thinking hold on i could fucking do that and then boom the seed is planted and suddenly here you are you know at home on record box with your little shitty midi controller trying to figure out how you can become the next fan var it happens to all of us we all get that bug happens 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 but of course once you get involved you start really going for it you realize that it's really difficult to pop through there's no real way to kind of you kind of have to figure out a way an angle to get yourself through the door and sometimes if you're a girl you have to use your you know your god-given gifts that you're given and in this girl's um, regard you know it's just not her fault she is kind of blessed in the in the chastity reasons so you have to kind of use that to obviously get you where you need to get to but also 
there's a limit to how far these you know these watermelons can get you right there's only so far you can throw a watermelon until you might have to go and pick it up and put it in a little bag and then carry it home if that analogy makes any sense it probably doesn't but you know what i mean there's only so far these can take you so the next step to go and again this is all kind of assuming that you've tried the artistry side of it right you, you try to just focus on these two things in front of you you've tried to put together mixes you try to upload um tracks on soundcloud edits on soundcloud you try to post videos and clips of you playing in places from the back so people can see your little chest moving up and down as you're moving the knobs you tried all those things nothing has worked right and then you go for of course the double bazooka attack you try that as well but then you know every other female that djs unless they're you know whatever they also have double bazookas so that doesn't work either so then the next thing to get attention the next thing to kind of get people to pay attention and to figure out and to want to hear what you have to say and want to hear you play somewhere is to get techno twitter up there's one place that you don't want to get people so but it's also really good for if you play the game right it's techno twitter because there's people on there take techno very seriously have very strong opinions and they're very um forthright with telling you um sharing their opinion with you even if you don't want to hear it so her saying this which i the first tweet is fucking hilarious like let's just be for real right really 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 funny <laughs> but it's also kind of reductive it's also obviously you know it's it's, it's insults the place that she's in but it, it is what it is isn't it the game is a game I, i'd imagine the proportion of people who go out to techno nights out properly like actual nightclubs sober just to enjoy the music must be super low percentage wise i don't know what it is it must be under 10 percent. maybe in a place like berlin it might be a bit higher because people you know everyone there's an artist everyone there's got an ep coming out everyone there's got a collective or some sort of mixtape or some sort of dead shit they're promoting on Bandcamp or some shit right everyone's got something that they're pushing so maybe there's a high proportion of people that actually go out to just listen to the music but in a city like london where i'm from the, the majority of people that go out love to go out obviously to you know to have a dance have a boogie maybe to go and hook up and also to get absolutely blasted off their face on ketamine speed coat ghb whatever else they may be on and obviously that kind of music helps right? i mean anything 120 130 and above is going to help you you know <laughs> I mean, it's just going to help you just like ingest and take whatever else in you can the annoying and sad bit about it is that actually black roots of electronic music especially when it comes to techno in places like detroit and chicago a lot of those pioneers music for the love of the music right they didn't get on it there was no such thing as drug taking it was very frowned upon in that sort of scene um, a lot of those older dudes even to this day still don't do anything they go raving completely sober you see them dancing places sweating their faces off just on pure flipping sparkling water do you know what i mean but then somehow when that kind of music got transplanted over into europe and it got adopted by the white man hey i don't give a fuck about shit but you know how people get annoyed by it techno's black and shit who cares man it's just too late now isn't it claiming those kind of musical genres is like trying to claim cornrows now and it's just too late it's gone too far we should have stopped people wearing cornrows when david beckham wore it when we let david beckham wear it you can't then tell justin bieber not to wear it do you know what i mean like we should have stopped him we, we let it go too far whenever it went over to europe for whatever reason it then just turned into like a druggy thing it's just what it is it, i guess the game is a game for some reason people still i guess if you kind of if it's like a maybe it's a culture shock right when you go to places like germany because of how people take it so seriously or parts of east central europe especially when it goes when it comes to nightlife you know maybe their lives day to day are so dreary that when they go out they go so hard if you're somebody just playing the music just to kind of enjoy as kind of nighttime you know soundtrack and then you go somewhere and you're hearing people legitimately losing their faces sometimes peeling their faces off their actual face it can maybe leave you a little bit oh my god what the fuck's going on but i thought this was hilarious and her follow-up tweet she said okay first of all you need to understand the context i wasn't talking about american techno i was talking about what european techno has turned into because i was in berlin at the after hours with all these djs talking about techno for 13 hours and i was bored <laughs> that's even more f again she's, she's she's quite a funny girl i'm not going to lie but the funny thing about this right being in it in an after hours and talking to djs one specific occasion was when i was i went to some sort of um i guess i don't know some sort of pro-black art collective thing in south london somewhere Way, right i ended up as this thing right like it sounds as boring as it, it, it trust me it was as boring as it sounds um i go to this thing they do a dj thing afterwards so you know i stay for that because obviously i want to get absolutely plastered and i'm dancing having a good time i think that might have been a time around kendrick's first album release i don't know which one it was but do you remember there was a period in time where everyone was sucking off kendrick lamar because everyone was so fed up or so bored i guess of like liking drake too much they wanted like a new shiny toy and he was the one at that time i remember there was a period of time when it was chance a rapper then 
then it was kind of Kendrick, then it was Travis for a bit. But, you know, because Drake is so omnipresent, so popular, there comes a point where someone just wants something new just to kind of distract them. And he was the one at that time. This album drops, it gets played everywhere and everyone's kind of blasting it out. And I guess they, pl- I think it might have been a week it dropped. I don't know, whatever. It was really hot at the time. And they're playing whatever track is the popping track of that album. And I guess I, I just felt bored and everyone was like, you know, patting each other on the back for listening to the song and knowing the lyrics. Like, you didn't make the fucking tune, you know what I mean? Like, what are you taking credit for this thing? It's just something about everyone's collective joy just pissed me off, right? So I just started thinking, how can I upset? How can I upset some people? So as I was standing there, like smiling, nodding as well, like, yeah, man, we're going to be all right. We gonna, or whatever song it was playing, right? I locked eyes with somebody and some guy came over, locked eyes with him or some girl, I forgot who it was. And they were like, yeah, man, just you know, kind of going bow for bar or whatever. And then I was like, um, man, this song's really good, man. Like, who did this? This is fucking amazing. I love the beat on this. This is really good. Whoever did this is, has got a real uh, big future ahead of them. And the guy get over Lewis and looked at me like, what, you don't know who this is? Like, no, no idea. And the way their face dropped, like automatically I became the uncoolest guy in the room, even though just a couple seconds before that, I was kind of, you know, going bar for bar on the track. Suddenly I became the uncoolest guy. I was like, ah, fuck off. I don't want your fucking approval anyway. Then the next time it happened to me, similar sort of thing where again, you know, sometimes when I get bored, I just want to upset people. We, I went to a house party after going out somewhere. No, I think I, well, yeah, I went to a house party after going to out to like a cocktail deal more at Grease Mueller, right? It's one of the premier sort of like queer nights they had there right really good gay queer night amazing like amazing 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 really good djs actually actually that's where um i discovered no that's where cocktail de amour is the rave that daniel wang actually exposed me to from he exposed me to he wrote a really good essay on um electronic beats talking about how amazing that whole collective is and how it opened his mind you know really good shit long story short i end up at a house party after grease Mueller. so it's like a really weird contingency of contingency of contingency of people if you know how the old grease Mueller was when it gets to daylight there's some real wrongings that are around that sort of area that are around that kind of club hanging around not wanting to go home so we went to this after party somewhere this place someone's house we end up in the living room talking and then people start getting pontificating about techno getting really serious about music talking about some shit you know intellectualizing bullshit intellectualizing some fucking what um switch the house cat fucking i don't know whatever they're intellectualizing just pissing me off so then we get to a point where everyone starts talking about gentrification right in berlin gentrification constant conversation so i'm like you know what fuck this man let's just upset some let's let's ruffle some feathers i start kind of adopting the i'm defending gentrification position because obviously from the area i mean in london we've had some very interesting experiences and you know um feedback and results from gentrification is kind of been a bit of a to and fro so i just throw out some you know empty statements i start throwing out some empty facts like sounding like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> and honestly i couldn't have cleared that room quicker that might be my record of clearing a room that room you know, you know usually when you know like a room is all popping in a house party when everyone just it ends up kind of slinking away people are going to the toilet to take lines or going here going there or going to pick up or going to a shop like i cleared that room in like record time like record time that room was cleared and then the only person that was left in that room were the two people who had their phones charged at the flipping you know um on the wall plug or something it was so funny i just had to uh, you know I was, I was like i'm not gonna sit here and start talking about how bad gentrification is we all know how bad it is you know i mean it's boring let me let me at least adopt the the mindset that i'm gonna be defending these um <laughs> these flipping cancerous uh, um, housing development people that are coming through and absolutely blitzing neighborhoods and you know t- taking out and pulling some people away artists and creative people who kind of make an area popping pulling them out and then kind of erecting these you know austere soulless horrible glass and steel buildings with obscene amount of rent that are usually going to be filled up with foreign investors right let me defend those people let me defend them I did that just because just for the laugh fuck it because you know it's way more fun than sitting there fucking wanking each other off about te- techno jamming you know I there's nothing worse than intellectual mas- masturbation nothing nothing worse than that. especially when it comes something like you know techno music or dance music in general it's like come on if you're not a serious artist right i mean and you're not really taking this thing for real like if you just put in a little party when i mean party you throw up a little flyer and you put on you know you plug and play in some decks in the middle of a pub or a bar somewhere i don't want to hear you talk about socioeconomic you know situations pertaining to a certain music in georgia i, I don't want to hear it like shut up and keep it yourself but yeah um, that's been my situation there so again chippy non-stop big up you you're obviously a bit of a troll you're obviously going to continue um garnering attention with your uh you know with your wares i'm assuming right because I, I think there's a new one out at the moment as well with, that she already done so it, this is obviously a calculated effect this is one set at hall and then there's another set at mix mag i've just seen now that might have dropped the other day i think it's fresh as well so this is definitely something that she's obviously trying to um to do to make sure people kind of keep her name in her mouth and again it is what it 
it is. The game is the game. You have to do what, use whatever you can to ensure people keep their eyes on you. And then the hope is that you do. It's like a Trojan horse thing. You kind of use all that attention as a way to kind of get people to stare at you. But then you're actually really talented at what you do. That's the cheat code. Do you know what I mean? The cheat code is doing that. But there, yeah, look, 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 look at all these... Look at all these thumbnails. Oh no, okay. So I guess she's some sort of well-known person, right? She's got some videos. Um, she's an artist on before. You know what she kind of looks like? She kind of looks like a bigger, chunkier version of that girl that did that song. Um, what's that fucking song that she did, man? What was that girl's name? See, look, there's, there's, a lot, there's been back-to-back -back tits in it on Mix Mag, isn't it? No, again, not to objectify these ladies, but these cover images have been flipping hilarious, isn't it? You've got this one, right? <laughs> you got this one. Again, it's it's human anatomy. It's not much that she can do about, you know, how her chest hangs and the fact that she doesn't like wearing bras. It is what it is. But it's just hilarious how you've got that and then you've got this latest one at the top. You know, like, it's just, just you just find it funny. But it is what it is. Um, You see what the vibes are, innit? You know what the vibes are. You see what they're doing. Um, you, have, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're a female DJ but I thought those tweets were hilarious I'm disappointed that she had to delete them do you know what I mean if you say these kind of things you have to say them with your chest no pun intended you can't go around just crying and apologising what she said she went anyway I went viral for, on Mix Mag for not for being hot and DJing hardcore price gone up I said people just take shit seriously to give their life a purpose okay I guess my tweet about techno pissed people off I was on drugs in Berlin uh, I gotta delete this tweet because I'm flying tomorrow would you say she's again not to you're objectifying yourself because you're commenting on it would you would you say she's hot for the guys in the in the um, in the chat would you say that or would you just say she's just got massive tits would you say she's hot though that's the thing i don't know but then i guess that's a form of hotness isn't it uh, that hotness is not really a a physical it's not, as much as it is a physical thing or it's how you're put it's more sort of a vibe isn't it if you're hot it's a vibe like you know, i carry myself like i'm hot it's like i always say about wale the same sort of thing wale in his head looks like chris brown do you know what i mean how he kind of carries off and licks his lips like, do you know what i mean he thinks he looks like that guy he thinks he's like six three light skin with like green eyes when instead you know he's five two and he looks like wale do you know what i mean but i think that's similar this similar sort of vibe so she's kind of carrying herself like she you know like she's that girl do you know what i mean which is cool which is cool, but <laughs> Dosh, quick beat and delete. I don't think you could delete her her too quickly, mate. She look like she's got that real banter that will keep you around, and she's probably really clever when it comes to tech stuff. So I don't think you could delete her very quickly. I think she she'll be on your case for a very 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 long time. But yeah, big up her, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, you're hot and people like you. Actually, you know what? Let's see the comments on this. I want to see what people said. Let's see. Let's see what people actually said in their thing because I'm sure the comments are gonna be nice and kind. No one's gonna be um saying anything mean to this young lady. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be very um measured um comments. To talking about her skill as a DJ and her maybe ability to Hello everyone, well be the next Solomon or something. Woo! So what was she just like a a, a a like an artist like a it, with a microphone and then she kind of pivoted to being a DJ. That's a that's a flex and a half, you know, she's able to garner this amount of attention off that just kind of picking up DJ later on down the line. Like she's a boss. You know I mean she 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 hacked the game. So I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of uh chin strokers out there. DJ guys are gonna be very pissed off that she's been able to <laughs> kind of leapfrog people so quickly but you know the game is the game man do you know what I mean it is what it is it's not fair but what can I say man do you know what I mean the game is the game let's see what are, what are, what are the comments saying today we are joined by a very special guest she's come all the way from Canada she's oh she's from firm, Canada okay. audacious and has a very international sound give it up for Chippy Nonstop <laughs> <laughs> Look at the comments already, man. <laughs> Look at the comments already. Gravity and the universe in general was feeling generous that night. And Mazo's bad boys never popped out. <laughs> Um, I don't know that that's probably something that it was like um ricorde mi infancia. I love this infancy. I don't know what that means. Uh, wow, what I say. <laughs> no one ever dances at these things, they just pose. Um real nicely mixed, but please ain't sing again. What? What did she sing on the Oh she, she did she go live at the end? No way. Did she get the microphone and start singing? Oh that's a tough gig in it to watch that. Did she start doing her own tracks at the end? That'd be funny, you know. Like imagine she kind of gets up. It, it, Look at the ratio. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. The ratios, yeah, the ratios are a bit mad as well, isn't it? Surprisingly, for sure, for sure, those two hundred and four people are proper DJs. 
string tin stroker type dudes the ones that go to fabric and sit and stand in the corner and analyze how jeff mills mixes and shit right like those are the guys or see how ryan elliott and all those kind of people play those are the guys who definitely downvoted this thing because i can understand again you know mix mag is a sort of reputable magazine not really you know it's just a magazine that talks about fucking beep 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 bop 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 how reputable can you actually be but for sure they've got still a base of people who kind of have read it back in the day when it actually meant something so imagine them kind of popping over and checking out see oh what are the mixes saying then who's got a new mix out and then they see this <laughs> they're like what but honestly it'd be funny right if she does if she was an artist before which i'm sure from the youtube that's what it looked like and she tried to she actually successfully pivoted off pivoted into being a dj but then tried to use the djing as a way to promote her music that no one probably cares about right because people care about her djing because she seems like a very proficient dj for the style of the music she plays in but then she tries to shoehorn her music into it people just get upset i wonder what people said sing did she sing at the end i'm skipping here i don't really see her grabbing a microphone did she grab a mic and start doing her thing yeah it looks like is that a mic there is that a hand with a mic on or something or she had her doing gun fingers yeah she is she's singing at the end oh no oh mate no 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 thank you no thank you but there must be something in the, in the air in canada in it because she seems like one of those kind of girls like you know what was that other girl that what was that girl um what was the other canada girl yeah do you remember that girl from canada that threw that chair out of the hotel window and then ended up she ended up getting arrested or some shit right like there's a lot of those kind of bad girls like that and there's the other one as well that um supposedly dj academic smashed what's her name man Cro chromaz chromaz right they've got a lot of those kind of chesty bombastic -y type personality girls in 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 some part of Canada. Oh, i wonder what what's in the water over there it makes them so uh you know forthright um what is it no one ever done to these things half what's that hell of a set musicals all right though hello big <laughs> magnificent <laughs> <laughs> uh very very sick who's making a track list what an amazing set now this is what you call a dj i know for sure she can run a, what she can run the vinyl now this is what you call a dj i know for sure she can run the vinyl what <laughs> what <laughs> this is how you watch music could be a score mo what a scoreland model i need that survivor remix the music is that the music is awesome that's all watching it at half a speed okay what's that can we actually hear her singing you actually want to hear her singing all right man fair play the music mixing is fairly okay it's kind of you know what the kids listen to nowadays i don't know what you actually call it is it all hardcore is it all gabba who knows let's play a bit of it now drum and bass i don't know i don't know it's a melange isn't it? it's a melange it's a tapestry of the streets actually it's a reflection of where i grew up and the neighborhood i was situated in and the people i came across in my life take your chance for a Oh no, you can hear her singing already. Oh, my, my computer's going really slow, but you can already hear her singing. Look, she's singing. Oh no, what are you doing, girl? Just mix just the song. Oh man, since the day you'll come back. Flex my slit, it's a hit. Are you ready to get back? Smoking blunts with your cunts, fuck it up. Straight to hell and come back. 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 Nah, you wanted it, man. I'm not stopping nothing. You wanted this fuck shit. You wanted this shit. What the fuck is this? Yo. Yo, if you... If you've seen people let this blow, man. Someone's there's some you got a lot to answer for, man. You got a lot to answer for because there's a lot of girls that I know who are out here fucking struggling. You know what I mean? Like fighting for sets, man. Fighting. You know what I mean? Tooth and nail. You know what I mean? They're beating up other girls to get sets. Do you know what I mean? They have to fight hard to get sets. Really difficult to get them. And you're just gonna let this this run, right? You're just gonna let this run, huh? You're gonna let this run. Alright, cool, in it? Cool. <laughs> That's why, honestly. That's why all the talk about gendered lineups is bullshit. Because at the end of the day, it's not really about the gendered lineup thing. It's about allowing people who don't have an opportunity to burst through and to have a chance to kind of play in these sort of spaces, a chance to kind of prove their worth. Do you know what I mean? Especially people that are just, you would say, quote unquote, domestic residents, people that actually live here who are struggling and can't get, a, you know, haven't played out in years, let alone months, especially during the pandemic and shit. Really talented. 
have all the chops, everything that you need to kind of be successful, just haven't been given the opportunity to do so. They they just need a chance to get in. It's not even about just making a gendered thing. Like you just need to give people chances. It doesn't matter what's hanging in between their legs. Just everyone's struggling. And again, spare a thought, spare a thought, right? For the for the straight, <laughs> for the what, how, what did they describe it in Twitter speak? For the cis white male out there who's who's trying to <laughs> go get himself through. <laughs> Doesn't make any tunes, just DJs. Spare a thought for that guy who's trying to become the next Ben UFO in this era. Good luck. Good luck, mate. It's impossible. This, you're not going to do it. You're going to have to get a flipping 666 tattooed on the forehead, in your forehead or something. There's no way you're going to get through. There's no way. Stuff like this has been pushed forward, isn't it? Again, her DJing is pretty decent. I like the DJ. Just her singing and rapping is like... As you can see from the people in the background, people are dancing more than she starts playing the DJ. And when she starts to grab the mic, everyone just stops in it and just looks at her. Yo, this is dead, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is fucking dead. But you know can't let this run man you girls out there you can't let this run man you can't let this run you're telling me none of those girls that play at fucking color factory who play at dawson superstores every weekend who play at what's that thing called is it fire and vox or whatever that place is are you telling me none of those girls that play in these amazing spots all over london all over london, especially not even london forget that all the manchester collectors are out there at the moment now yeah the liverpool ones right you're telling me you couldn't find anyone that could play this sort of stuff from those clicks out there honestly legit is that what you're telling me legit you couldn't find anybody else to do this shit <laughs> like oh my god man this is mad absolutely mad but again man the the when it comes to music and when it comes to entertainment in general the game is i wouldn't say it's rigged it's just random isn't it it's random who blows it's random who pops you just have to use again i don't be, i don't begrudge the girl I've, i think i've even advised other female friends of mine who you know have maybe struggled or are struggling to get through to use whatever they've get, they got to kind of get the attention they need and then kind of just burst through that way and i look at someone like a this is a bad example maybe yeah maybe it isn't like a jada g right she's obviously supremely talented um producing and djing but again it's, it's hard not to kind of look at the obvious and think you know if she wasn't as attractive as she is um and she didn't have a hint of georgia smith about her whether or not she would be as successful as she is now now again is it her fault is it a problem who cares but you would be an idiot not to use whatever you're given as some sort of tool just to kind of get you the attention of people then once you've got the attention be like hey I can actually DJ, especially vinyl. I can produce. I'm a great performer behind the decks. You know what I mean, and suddenly, bang! You're you're playing at Deck Mantle. Your your set goes viral. People love what you look like. Then they listen to your, your set. They think you're awesome, and then boom! You know what I mean, you've now got a career as a DJ, and you're flying around the world, and you're supporting yourself doing the thing that you love. It is what it is, isn't it? But it's just oof. It must be a mind fuck for a girl, though. It really does. Must be a mind fuck. Cause why should you objectify yourself, innit? You should just be able to just play the songs, innit? But like any like dudes do, right? Dudes don't have to object themselves, objectify themselves. Obviously, there's hot dude DJs that exist. I'm sure there are. I don't know them because you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm sure they do exist, right? Hot dude DJs that kind of pop through. But for the most part, you're just playing in it. So I guess it must be a bit of a mind fuck for a girl. You don't want to objectify yourself, but then also if you do it will kind of make you it will allow you to skip a few steps do you know what i mean obviously you still have to be good but i think much like um stand-up comedy when like celebrities get in it yes you can sell some tickets early doors being a celebrity that's going to do a stand-up show but then if you're not funny word will spread and people just stop coming so your celebrity will only get you so far it'll get it'll get people's it'll get people's attention for the first five minutes they say but after that you have to kind of be funny same with like being attractive or having something about your look wise you need to uh, but i think that's where someone like a party boy 69 comes in that dude in it right he's obviously got the look he's obviously got a great setup with the green screen all that shit and you know the upside down glasses and that you know that flipping cosplaying look that he has going on where he's sort of like what is he an amalgamation of like post malone and young lean or some shit cool but he's actually a prom uh, you know a very proficient dj too so that obviously helps the situation but i don't know man i don't know if i was one of these young ladies out here struggling i would be absolutely livid if i saw this shit like do you know what i mean being propped up mate but you know this and the tweet and everything and the look it's probably gonna let, let's hear let's hear us sing it one more time this shit is terrible come on 
this is. Where is it? Okay. I saw the mic. I saw a microphone somewhere towards the end. I think there's one more tune coming. Let's Watch this that. moving, grooving on the dance floor. Holy shit. Holy shit. She's spitting ether, innit? She legit, she, she legit must think she sounds like Nicki Minaj in her head, innit? She must think she's like coming through like Jada Kiss, innit? Like style. She's coming through like camera and on flipping Rap City and shit. Morning. When in reality, she sounds like, I don't know, man. Freak. I don't know. You know, there's the times when you go up north and you end up at some like mad Nottingham pub somewhere and there's a girl there who's oh. kind of like, you know, spitting along to the lines Freak. of like Gangster's Rip Paradise or something dance. towards the end of the night. And you're looking at her thinking like, what the fuck? And she's spitting them too super aggressive because she knows you're black and she's like, yeah, man, we, I, we connect on this shit. It's like, bruv, leave me alone, man. You're scaring me. But let's, let's hear this rap. Let's hear this rap. Freak in the morning, freak in your bed, freak in the dance floor and even on your head. Freak in your dreams and in your nightmares. I'll freak you anywhere you go. I don't even care. Freak in the morn. Freak in the trees and in your nightmares. Freak in the trees and in your nightmares. I'll freak you anywhere you go. I don't even care. Freak. Freak in your bed. Freak on the dance. Did she really need to rap this though? Did she really need to rap this? Did she really need to rap this? Like, could she just ad lib this? Or is there a verse coming in? Or does she think she needed to chant this freak in your bedroom, freak in your day thing? It would be, you know, it'd be really funny if somebody just started playing dunda, 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 track in the background. There's a bed. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious. Like, what is going on here? But this is legitimately garbage, man. Legitimately garbage. That's the thing, though. Is it? What's worse, this or like Nina Kravitz when she did like live song when she was like singing like, oh, she's doing with that kind of weird white woman sounds. I don't know. Floor and even on your head, freak in the streets and in your nightmares. I'll freak you anywhere you go. I don't even care. Freak in the and in your nightmares. I'll freak you anywhere you go. I don't even care. Freak in the morning. Freak and in your nightmares. Freak in your dreams and in your nightmares. I'll freak you anywhere you go. I don't even. Porn have on your browser. I got that pussy power. I'm sweet and I'm sour. Sorry, I forgot. I was in the shower. This is some smooth brain lyrics, isn't it? 62.5 IQ, bruv. What? Sweet and sour porn hub on your browser. Like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> you are taking the piss out of my life. I swear to God, honestly. <laughs> I swear to God, I could go to, I swear to God, I could go to like a street corner on a Saturday or outside of Westfield and, and find like a couple of 16 year old girls like beatboxing on the side of the corner that would wash this. Like, what is this, man? Like, what is this? This is mad. And again, don't, 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 don't talk, I'm talking nonsense. There's plenty of kids outside Westfield, you know, rapping and beatboxing in front of each other and doing loads of stupid pranks about, you know, would you, would you, would you go to the first date? Do you pay? And that sort of shit. You know, those guys, they exist. Yeah, man, this is hot garbage. But again, Big up Mix Mag though. They're obviously trying to pivot away from just having like, you know, Martinez Brothers acolytes and, you know, Seth Chocolate wannabes type people on their platform, right? On their channel. They're obviously trying to mix it up a little bit, make a few more bits of noise, but it doesn't. But, you know, she's been doing the whole like thing. She's been doing it for a while, isn't it? Playing, it looks like DJing because they've got her here playing at Pussy Palace was one of, again, one of our better parties here in London. So she's obviously doing her thing. She's got a story here about Travis Scott, you know, nice bit of clout chasing to keep himself nice and honest. Some tunes of hers, that I guess, didn't really go too well in terms of garnering attention. Yeah, so the DJ, look, big up her though. She's been keep, she's been at it for a while, bro. Eight years ago, you know? Look at this money dance. Under 70 kids, probably her highest rated video, I think. And then she tried to keep doing the music thing. It didn't really work too tough. And then she, boom, pivoted full time to the DJing. And that's been going very, very well. She made a mistake here by not exposing the, you know, the old uh, cleaves. And then from then, she continued on, it looks like. And as soon as we reached this bit is when the, definitely the view started to pop a bit. So she's definitely done well in terms of positioning herself and pivoting away. So congratulations on that regard. But legitimately, if I heard this in a rave somewhere, I'd be tempted to like, you know, run headfirst into a wall, rags. Maybe holding my keys in front of my head because, you know, it's just not for me, bruv. Not for me. But again, it's not made for me, innit? You, you would imagine, look at me, do you know what I mean? I don't think I'm exactly her um, ideal customer base, innit? Or listenership, but yeah, man. 
I think that's a pussy in the shower. What's that pussy in the morning? Like she's got it stuck in my head now. What what the, what the fuck was that? What what the fuck were those J. Cole esque bars again? Break in your dreams bad gal, bad and in gal. your nightmares. I'll freak you anywhere you go. I don't even porn have on your browser. I got that pussy power. I'm sweet and I'm sour. Sorry, I forgot. Porn you being browser, I'm sweet and I'm sour. I'll call you in an hour. Wow. None of these people listen to her music on her on their phone. None of them. None of them. None of them. None of them listen to her phone. They all just You don't get Do you think they give away free drinks to these sort of things? It's sponsored by Cause Light, right? Do you think they give away free booze? Would you legitimately go to this on your own free volition, like own free time? Or is it like I don't know? What is it? It's like a boiler room thing that you sign up and you get free tickets. Like, I don't know, bro, but I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> I've said to go struggling. Like, legitimately, you must get free drinks, in it, right? There's no way you just kind of rock up here and you pay hard-earned money to come and see Chippy nonstop talk about porn up on your browser for an hour, sweet and sour. Come in an hour. Whoa. <laughs> I don't keep it on the, on the low, low. Watch us moving, grooving on the dance floor. It's our night, now we know, no. She doesn't even remember the l lyrics of her own bars. Like, are you for real? She's got these fucking ABC one, two, three bars and she just doesn't remember them or she's just like skipping them because she's... Watch us moving on the dance floor. She just remember her own bars, bruv, and it's like pulling up in an hour. Are you for real? Bruv, if, again, if I'm a friend, just stick to the DJing. Keep doing the DJing thing. Tap into the whole hardcore thing going on at the moment. 140 BPM and up. Ramp up to 160. Do you know what I mean? Hardcore, Gabba, Trance, Psy, like Psy, whatever, all of it. Do you know what I mean? Just do the whole shebang. Like, tap into it super hard. Like, just look at what all those people like Flipping Possessions play. Look at their playlist and just kind of, you know, cat that and just make it your own. And how usually, and I obviously use that as like the benchmark. Okay, cool. Um, possessions in my is my Berghain, right try and get booked to those kind of things but keep all this kind of um what is this uh what is this this fucking 2021 version of um what's her fucking name gucci gucci girl not the gucci gucci girl um whatever her name is it's just horrible it's just horrible again if i was a friend just stick to djing that's what i would say stick to the fucking djing because this the bars just are not for everybody Bye. man yeah, I've, I've had enough, man. I'll stop now. I'll stop subjecting myself. This is fucking bullshit. Time to go to bed. 